This is an alien ice bug. He was slimy as a child. But when he grows up, he has a special function. If you have a fever, just put him on your forehead for 5 seconds and the fever will go down immediately. This ice worm is ready to take a hot bath when he sees steaming hot urine. But the dog wants to come over and smell it. He kept licking the ice worm. The ice worm's eyes rolled back in anger. He jumped into the puppy's body. The dog rolls around in pain and barks. So the ice worm parasites the dog's body. The puppy wanders around. The ice worm is also looking for a new target. Mary picks up a dog and is about to give it a kiss. The ice worm is excited to see what's going on. He was about to get into Mary's mouth. But the boyfriend suddenly hugged the dog. Mary had a lucky escape. The puppy continues to wander around. An old man who smoked was targeted by the ice bug. He kept spitting smoke rings to smoke the dog. The next minute the ice worm was in the man's mouth. Not long after, they found the dog's stiff body and had to bury the puppy. Looking at the stiff puppy, several people were puzzled but did not know what happened. At night a small couple by the pond making out. But the woman wore too many clothes. He had to keep taking off her clothes. The man who was possessed by the ice worm slowly approached them. He jumped on the man. The woman saw that her boyfriend was being bullied, so she used her hands to grab his hair, but he was bald. The woman grabbed a wooden stick and knocked him out. The family heard the ear-splitting screams and came running over. He said, who dares to bully my daughter? He went up to him and tried to teach him a lesson, but the bald man didn't seem to be breathing. He was about to turn around and leave. The man grabbed him by the ankle. His body continued to twitch. An ice worm crawled out of his mouth. The ice worm slowly crawled towards Jack. He suddenly molts and grows larger scaring Jack's family backwards. The ice worm jumped at Jack. Jack kept jumping in the air. He successfully dodged the ice worm's attack. So the ice worm hit the tree branch. Jack couldn't stop the car, and he also hit the wall. Will the angry ice worm let him go? A thousand-year-old ice worm was fooled by humans. So it flew hard at the group. The women dodged it in all sorts of strange positions. Jack used a pod lid to block the ice worm's attack. However, the ice worm suddenly disappeared. They searched everywhere for the ice worm. Jack felt itchy all over her body. It turns out that the ice worm had gotten into Jack's crotch. The ice bug was roaming around his crotch. Jack cried out. The women came around and stepped on the bug. But it disappears. Then they quickly ran back to the house to hide and sealed the door and windows. Suddenly the door kept banging. They were scared and shivering. It turned out to be Lisa's brother came back. The people had a false alarm. But as he said that, he took out an ice worm. This scared Jack hurriedly threw it out. But this ice worm merged with another ice worm. They produced many eggs at once. Soon it turned into a huge ice worm. Jack called the police. But the police was too busy. He thought Jack was joking so he didn't take it seriously. They had to go around the room with a shotgun and look for the ice worm. There was a huge thing standing there. Sam fired a shot straight away. The next thing they knew, they were regretting it. A larva burrowed into Sam's butt and wouldn't come out, so they thought of playing golf. They took a swing and the ice worm was really knocked away. The crowd is still celebrating. The bug on the iron bar jumped into Jack's mouth. He couldn't pull it out, so he let someone else to hit him. Sam set up his standard swing. He swings the stick down. The ice worm is knocked far away and falls into the ice bucket. And it freezes instantly. Mike takes the ice worm to the ground and stomps on it. It's shattered. They now finally know that the ice worm is afraid of the cold. So they decide to lure the mother bug to the big pool and use the ice machine to freeze it. Mike goes to collect the eggs. The mother bug crawled in after them. Mike throws the eggs into the pool. Little by little, the mother bug into the pool. At the critical moment, the female feels something strange. She is about to move backwards. Sam holds on to the wooden board. Jack also came to help. They struggled to push the worm into the pool. Everyone thinks they've done it, but did they really get rid of the ice bug? However, 
The big bug pulled Mike into the water. Jack took the iron bar and was kicked down to rescue him, but he couldn't pry the mouth of the ice bug. At this point, they turned on the cooling capacity of the pool to the maximum. Soon the whole pool was frozen. The ice worm also slowly loosened its mouth. They successfully climbed ashore. However, a larva burrowed into the man's body again. Everyone thought he was going to die, but he suddenly opened his eyes. He spat out the ice worm. Everyone thought it was amazing. Just then the house burst into flames. They all ran to put out the fire and accidentally kicked off the refrigeration power plug. The temperature of the pool slowly rose. The mother bug in the water were moving again. The crowd put out the fire. Three punks were standing there screaming. They were here to collect a debt. They were the ones who started the fire. Jack told them there was a giant ice worm that would eat people, but they were still laughing. A huge shadow leaned towards the three of them. Before they could react, they were swallowed in one gulp. No matter how much they struggled, it was useless. He was ready to pull out a grenade and die together. But he was too late to pull the ring. Sam picked up the grenade on the ground and pulled the ring. It turned out to be a fake grenade, and he threw it at the bug's head. The big bug vomited on Sam. At that moment, the leader of the gang appeared. He told everyone that the ice bug would die if he ate the bun. Jack realized that his son didn't die from the ice worm inside his body. So he immediately took a handful of beans and threw them at the bug. The ice worm ate it with gusto. Everyone thought that was the end of the ice bug. But the ice worm instantly spit out a bubble of green bean paste. The son brought another bean paste filling and threw it into the ice worm's mouth again. But it still spit out. At this point Mike thought of Jack's secret recipe. The woman threw up the spice packet in the air. He kicked the bag into the worm's mouth. In a matter of seconds, the bug kept struggling violently. It instantly spit out three people and then turned into a puddle of green water. It left only one big eye. Everyone cheered and cheered. The next morning, two policemen came to ask about the police report last night. She picked up Jack's bun and prepared to eat it. But the bun was a worm egg. It burrowed into her mouth at once. The crowd beat her up and knocked the bug out of her mouth. It fell to the ground and Mary sprayed insecticide. The ice worm died instantly. You can subscribe and leave a comment. See you next time.